June the 5th, 2019. Guys, a couple months ago, I did a video titled Comet Inky Earth to Move Through the Thickest Part of the Debris Trail. We're talking about the June Torch. And uh, guys, I'm going to link to that video because there's a lot of information. But the Earth is passing through the Torrid uh, meteor shower part of Comet Inky, but it's the thick part. And uh, again, two months ago, we talked about it. Now, what's amazing to me is we have a link on our website at bpearthwatch.com called um, Live Meteors. But if you come here to, our, again, our website at bpearthwatch.com, the links that I'm talking about are on the left side. Many of you have been looking at these for probably seven or eight years now. But uh, we've, in, we've updated them and added new ones. But anywhere from the earthquakes to the solar satellites to your hurricane information to what we're about to look at called live meteors. And it's a radar that picks up meteors that enter our atmosphere. And they pick up the ionization trail. Guys, tonight and today is the strongest that I've ever seen in all the years that I've watched live meteors. And we're going to take a look at that. Now click there and it's going to bring you here. You're hearing a noise because you're, it's picking up a meteor here. It's a pretty good straight long signal. The longer the signal, I believe the way these antennas work, which by the way, this one's tuned to 55.240 megahertz on the AM band, or the, in the television band, excuse me, and uh, it's being picked up from a Canadian broadcast station from an antenna in New York that's skipping off the ionosphere that picks up these ionized trails. Now this, the longer they are like this, the deeper they are penetrating. They're not just skipping. But guys, we've seen these, and uh, again, this is a long trail, but what we're about to see is amazing. I've never seen this thick of a meteor shower. Now you're starting to see it pick up in a wider section as these uh, rocks enter our atmosphere again. Check this out. Notice your timestamp. This is this morning, 6 5 2019. Now, this is uh, universal time. Again, check it out. You're, you're starting to see a spread. And I'm going to fast forward just a little so you'll see the full intensity. Now, notice again, you're starting to see the peak increase. You're going to see the spectrum increase as the uh, meteor shower gets wider and wider. Now, 9 21 a.m., your timestamp's in the bottom left. You can start to see the pattern starting to widen out, both on the radar indicators here, check this out, but also in the spectrum or between 55.24 megahertz on both sides. Guys, we talked about it. The heaviest section of this uh, June toward meteor shower, remnants of Comet Enki, and so are most of the other meteor showers by the way that the Earth goes through. But this continues. Notice we came into it just around 9.22 a.m. this morning. And now it's still intense. 9.23.57. I skipped forward just a little bit and nothing is let off. Just don't want to drag the whole thing out. But guys, these are um, very intense radar signatures. Now, here in the southeast, we're dealing with the tropical system that's bringing the rain and we're under a pretty good cloud cover right now maybe in texas some areas are starting to clear out so check it out and let us know but you could see some very spectacular fireballs and meteorites or shooting stars as some people call them but these could be very low and very big it's a we're living in interesting times i'm going to fast forward this just a little to see how long this thing lasts so now for nearly 25 minutes guys we're still getting these impacts Again, I've never seen this. I don't know if there's something wrong, but notice now over to the right at a below 55, 24 megahertz, we're starting to get a signal also. Very thick debris trail. We need to pay attention to this. Um, it's getting to where it's getting harder and harder to get warnings of asteroids or uh, any type of incoming object. I don't know why that is, but it is. So, um, during what I'm saying is during these meteor showers and these thicker debris trails they don't know what all is involved what are the size of some of the objects in there we've seen it happen before and you had Tunguski but guys here at we're starting to go back to a normal signal at 10.05 33 a.m. now we'll walk, keep an eye on it come there if you if you under cloudy skies and you can't watch it 
you can come here and check out the information and listen to what they call the pings. But it's a heads up. Let us know if you get any uh, good fireballs in your area. It's a heads up. Be safe.